Good teachers know that student engagement is key to learning. Ben Franklin is credited with saying, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Times have changed, but these words he spoke hundreds of years ago are more applicable today than ever before. Today's classrooms are equipped with a vast array of technology options. Teachers can utilize the technology in their classrooms to ensure student engagement. But often, overworked teachers find implementing new tech platforms too time-consuming and challenging. This tutorial video introduces a tech tool that is easy to learn, simple to implement, and best of all, free to use. That tool is called Nearpod. It helps educators make interactive presentations that will keep students engaged. They can complete their Nearpod lessons in the classroom or virtually. Nearpod is a perfect fit for busy teachers because the teacher chooses whether to create their own interactive lesson or use an existing lesson from the Nearpod library. First, you will need to create a teacher account. The students, however, will not need to create accounts. They will access your lessons using a code that you share with them. If you will have 40 or fewer students per session, then the free Nearpod teacher account will be an option for you. However, the free account does have storage limitations. This will not be an issue if you are just using the lessons in Nearpod's library. But if you plan to upload a great deal of your own content, then you may need to purchase a paid plan. Once you've created your free Teacher Nearpod account, open it and sign in. This home page will open. From here, you can choose to create a lesson or use one from the Nearpod library. This tutorial demonstrates using the Nearpod library. To navigate the library, you can use the filter options and search tool to narrow your choice. Once you've narrowed the search, select a lesson you'd like to preview. Your preview will be from the student's perspective. This gives you a chance to see the built-in interactive features for the lesson. There are many lessons in the library, so you are sure to find the perfect one. Once you find the one you would like to use, click and add it to your library. Now the lesson will be in your My Lessons collection. When you are ready to launch a lesson, click it and select one of the three delivery options. For this tutorial, I will do the Live Participation option. Share this lesson code with students. If they do not have the Nearpod app, they can go to the Nearpod student sign-in page. Here is a link for that page. Once students have opened Nearpod, they will just type or paste in your lesson code. Now I will display the student and teacher views side by side as I go through a live participation lesson. First, click the lesson and select Live Participation Mode. This will generate the launch code for this lesson. You will need to share it with your students. Students will put in the code Then they will type in their name and join the lesson. 
Only the teacher will have the options to click through the slides. I am going to click through to our first interactive in this lesson. Let's take a moment to watch what a student interactive looks like in action. You can see that as the student works through, he receives immediate feedback. The teacher also receives feedback. If a student misses an item, he has a chance to adjust his answers. When the students have completed their interactives, the teacher can choose to go forward in the presentation. I am going forward to the end of this presentation. The poll feature is the ideal tool for student self-assessment as the teacher gets the results immediately. This concludes our demo lesson. <music>